Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. In this third part of the video series, I will show you how to do texture of this binocular 3D model in Substance Painter. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this video series, I will recommend you to watch those videos where I have shown how to do 3D modeling and UV texturing of this model in Autodesk Maya. You will find the links of the videos in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here in Substance Painter, go to File, and choose New. From here, select PBR Metallic Roughness, then select the FBX file of the model which was exported from Maya. And for now I will keep 1K resolution. Afterwards we can make it higher. Then click on OK. Now go to Texture Set Settings, scroll down and choose Bake Textures. From here, uncheck ID, and I will keep the output size as 2K. And rest of the settings will be default. Then click on Bake Textures. Now go to Shelf and select Materials. Delete this layer. Now, from Shelf, search for Plastic Glossy Pure Material. But first, let's create a folder over here. Now, drag and drop this material into this folder. Now play with these settings and see what looks best for you. Now then, click on Roughness and search for Grunge Rough. Then double click on this. And then, play with the settings. Now right click on this layer and choose Add Filter. Now select this filter layer and click on Filter. Now search for Matte Finish Galvanized. Double click on this. After that, right click on this folder and choose Add Black Mask. Now select Polygon Fill Tool. Change the properties to UV, and make sure the color is white. Then drag and select all of them. Now, change the color to black, and select those parts that you don't want to give this material. After that, go to shelf and search for iron galvanized. Then drag and drop this material into the layer. And now, play with the settings. After that, right-click on the layer and select Add Black Mask. Then again, right-click on the layer and choose Add Generator. Now, click on Generator and then double-click on MG Metal Edge Wear. And now, play with the settings and see what looks best for you. Now then, collapse this folder. Then select this folder and press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate the layer. Now, turn off the visibility of the bottom folder and expand the top folder. Then select the black mask and then select Polygon Fill Tool. Make sure the color is set as black. And then, drag and select all these parts. Now then, turn on the visibility of the bottom layer. And you will see that the material layers are separated for the body and the middle part of the binocular. 
Now you can change the color of the middle part, as per your choice. And now, I will duplicate this layer. Right click on this layer, select add white mask, and then, change the color. Now, select the polygon fill tool, make sure the color is set as black. Then drag and select these parts. Now then, go to Shelf, and select Smart Materials. From here, select Copper Warm Material, then drag and drop on the top of the layers. Then right-click on the layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. Then select Polygon Fill Tool, choose UV, and set color as white. Then select the glass parts. Now, expand this folder, select this base metal layer, and play with the settings, as per your choice. Adjust the settings for all the layers in that Smart Material folder, and see what looks best for you. After that, go to Render View. Then from here, you can change the render settings, and play with it to see what looks best for you. Set the render time, and save your render image. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.